In this episode, we travel to the northeast extreme of Nova Scotia, Cape Breton Island. Now, some of us in the group were on a non-mine hunting, multi-day hiking and camping trip throughout Cape Breton Island, but we decided, well, we gotta check on at least a couple spots while we're up here. So what ended up happening, even though Cape Breton has hundreds of uh, potential and scoutable abandoned mine sites, we, we picked a couple sites which we thought had potential, and those were the Gold Brook abandoned gold mine site and the Fairbow Brook or Fairbolt Brook abandoned mine site, both of which were found far, far back kilometers or miles back into the Cape Breton Highlands, mountainous area of Cape Breton, famous for the, uh, the Cabot Trail. Um, we went way back to see what we could find and that is where we're going to be taking you in this episode. So let's get started. Episode 27, the Cape Breton Abandoned Mine Hikes. So here we are on site at the old Gold Brook Gold Mine in Cape Breton. Just a little bit off the, uh, the Cabot Trail, going across uh, the island from uh, Shetty Camp to Bedeck. Way back in the mountains, probably a two to two and a half kilometer hike to get back here to this old site. But there are some ruins and uh, old dilapidated buildings like so. There are several uh, openings, potential openings here that we're going to start hunting for, see what our luck is. A few potential adits are here and uh, maybe a shaft or two. So we will see. The boys have gone, gone up ahead to, uh, to hunt beyond here and we'll uh, trail behind them and see what we find. It was great to find some uh, ore cart tracks coming through the trees, still here. And uh, if we turn around, they head off into the distance over there. Beautiful. So if we follow the tracks along the ground here, an interesting find that we, uh, we haven't seen before is uh, an old roundabout where they turn the carts around and uh, either send them down different rails or literally just turn the carts around 360 degrees. So it's like a turntable here on the ground, all rusted now, but uh, that's what it was for. Now there's a great big uh, bricky structure here at the back of the, uh, the site, just behind the old dilapidated buildings. And our first discovery of an opening is just over here at the end of the, uh, the ore cart tracks that come out of these uh, trees here into the brook bed down here and unfortunately it has been remediated by uh, Department of Natural Resources so let's go up and have a closer look yeah this was uh, an old adit that they have plugged now with a grate and uh, there were pictures on the internet that I found for the team before coming here to scout this location as best we could on Google I remember this open pit sign um, and it looks like they've uh, filled this over and put this plug in there. So we'll have a look. So there is the, uh, the sign. And of course the typical DNR sign there. And here is our opening. A beautiful air conditioned breeze coming out of that straight at the camera. <laughs> quite, uh, quite nice to feel on a hot day like this, but bittersweet because we can't go in this uh, this particular opening now the boys have gone up ahead and I hope they're not all they're not all remediated but they very well may be let's get out the light and have a peek in there see what we're missing of course we don't want to fog the lens and it's hard to get much of a view better than this but there is a uh, there's an orange ore cart sitting right there in the middle of the tunnel overturned 
Uh, but it looks like, yeah, it was a beautiful tunnel that went in there to the left. So, we can't get through these bars. We're just gonna have to <laughs> leave it at that for now and move on to the, uh, the other points further up the uh, Gold Brook Valley. So let's keep going. All right, here's the second opening we found. It's just up the brook and it is a rat hole, but this is uh, one of the GPS points, one of the former adits. You can kind of see the uh, gorge going up there into the hillside, but we do have this uh, collapsed mouth. We'll go up to it here. The portal is uh, a mess. A bunch of uh, timbers collapsed down. Of course, the water is flowing out of the mine, but even with a belly crawl, you ain't getting in there because if you come up above, that's all you got. But uh, interesting, we'll continue on to the next one. All right, here's the second opening and uh, it has been remediated as well. So it's odd to see such a nice uh, pressure treated deck three, four kilometers back in the forest, but here it is. And this is over top of a slight incline shaft, collared shaft, log collared that goes down to the workings. And it has this uh, barred hole. And if you look down in there, there's the bottom right there. So that's the tunnel floor. Steady the camera a bit. And the water's trickling down through there, but that is the workings down below here. So really interesting, uh, but we can't do anything with it except just observe and move on. Let's keep going. One thing about the, uh, the Gold Brook site, even though uh, the openings seem to be a fail thus far, is there are some really cool uh, artifacts, like what this looks to be an old boiler or something. Uh, you don't, we don't see that normally at a lot of these sites, but uh, interesting to find. Okay, the last spot here by the brook, this is about it, unfortunately. Uh, it is caved over, but you can see the, uh, the rock face where it was cut in, just to the side of the brook. Right there in the center, that's it, that's all we've got. <laughs> So unfortunately, that is the last point here on uh, Gold Brook. We're gonna start our hike back. A little bit of a disappointment to find stuff that's been caved over and remediated, but the province beat us to these ones. Maybe we'll do uh, better on the next site. So that's it for Gold Brook, Cape Breton. All right, here we are at uh, Fairbow Brook, Fairbolt Brook in uh, the Cape Breton Highlands. Another stop, looking for mines. And we, uh, we did come across some openings here. Four old adits in a row, kind of reminds us of the old uh, Cold Stream Gaze River episode. They're literally within uh, 40, 50 feet of each other all in a row. So let's go up here into the uh, cliffside and have a look. All right, up from the river here on the embankment. Uh, here we start the, uh, the four openings in a row. And he's going to scoot down in there. This first one is a, kind of an incline shaft. It goes down maybe 20, 25 feet. Nothing really special. Just ends right there. Some timbers and stuff. All right, let's go on to the next one. Okay, just following the, uh, the cliff side here, if we come down further, the second opening is here. And this one, uh, again, very much like at uh, Cold Stream. It's kind of plugged by this big hump of uh, leaves. But if we uh, scooch down in here, there are ore cart tracks in the water there. You can see the rails. And the water does go right to the ceiling probably about 15, 20 feet back there out of view. So, unfortunately, that one's a no-go. But if we turn around here just behind us, come down the hill, there are the old uh, pistons, pieces of equipment here. 
like so. All right, on to the next one. Okay, here's the next one, the third one. And uh, this one's uh, kind of spooky. <laughs> it is flooded and it looks like it goes down there into absolute nothingness past that wood. There's a platform there and just beyond it, it goes down well beyond what we can see. Very, very deep. Uh, turquoisey blue water from the mineral content. But it goes to the ceiling there at the back and unfortunately this one is unexplorable as well. Very cool find. All right, let's go on to the fourth and last one. So on the way to the uh, fourth and last one, I just wanted to point out that there is uh, a boiler or what looks to be a trommel possibly, probably a trommel. Right here by the river, a beauty. We'll take a peek inside, makes a good animal den. And just up from the boiler, coming down to the last one that we promised you, there is this monstrosity. And uh, again, this big uh, heap of, of leaves, that's probably two feet thick. If you step in it like we did there, your foot goes right down into it. But uh, we're gonna sneak over here along the edge Again, full of water, unfortunately. But this one doesn't have the nice turquoisey water. It's kind of murky and foggy for some reason. But again, it goes down there into the abyss. But beautiful uh, cut face up into the forest for this final portal. So that's it for uh, Fairbowl or Fairbolt Brook. We'll uh, see you next time. Bye-bye.